Imagine combining seven different images into one cinematic AI shot and video. This is what we're going to cover in this video here. We're going to take some references and generate videos on top of it. We're going to show you a platform that does a very good job. That just released a brand new model and the results, as you can see here, is crazy. We're going to run through a bunch of different examples, take some different references, both of myself, create personal videos, with AI, also just a ton of examples directly out of the box. So let's just jump straight into the video website here. AI video generator, they have tons of different features. The main one that we're going to cover is the reference to video. They also have image to video, text to video, AI sound effect generator, but you get the best result if you use the reference to video. So they also have a, a mobile app. You can get it here. You can try out video here directly. You can paste in the prompt and it's basically just going to generate any video that you tell it to. They have a bunch of different templates that you can use out of the box. Let's just jump into the reference to video. We can go back to some of the other parts later in the video. The first one I just want to show you guys here is just a shot that I took of myself. We're going to run through some examples, but I did some tests here before the video. And this is just one of my thumbnails. This is the reference that I pass into it. And then we can specify a subject. It's gonna generate like a full scene description of what's going on. You can do camera controls. You can control how the camera should move the whole environment in some different settings. So this is a pretty cool one. This is me in a cyberpunk city like with Jurassic World. It's pretty good reconstruction of my face. Again, this is just a single reference. This is one of the thumbnail images that we had as a reference. I'm going to show you that in just a second. So this is the new video Q1 model, best of the best quality that you can get out there. They also have the other ones for faster generation, dynamic. If you just take a quick look at it, I'd say just go with the Q1 model significantly better. This is the old model and this is the new model. All new models will be available in here, but you can just see how crazy of a difference there is. And the level of detail in these videos are pretty amazing. So on the left side here, we have our workflow so we have generated images with multi-reference consistencies to have image to video text to video as well but the coolest one is definitely the reference to video and you can combine up to seven reference images that can be combined there's also tons of different examples directly out of the box out there here we can see like free references with some art paintings and uh, act like just a portrait photo then you can generate a five second video based on that here's another one so you can specify that image one is taking a selfie with image two, and this is the two references that you can reference. So this is pretty much like if you're using any coding agent, design agents and so on out there, we just reference the stuff, tell it what to do, and it's going to generate it. But here we also get very crazy detailed results in full resolution. This is another cool one, combining a portrait photo with a post box and Pikachu here with some guy doing some stuff in a, a lab. So first of all here, we can specify, you can just drop in new images here. There's also some references that you can use out of the box. So you can use your own references. You can upload them here. You can upload one to three images, select the person's object or a scene. And then you can specify the reference name, the tags, and then you can reuse them over and over again. They have some stuff here out of the box. So some demo examples, you can just use it. It's going to drop that in as the main reference. Maybe we can try to combine this with one of my thumbnail images. This can be used for so many different use cases like marketing, your own personal branding. If you want to do B-rolls, generate videos in some way, even just synthetic data because it's so photorealistic videos that is generating so this can be used for so many different use cases so we can see dog and image maybe we should just try to um let's come up with uh let's come up with a prompt here we can also put it in pro mode so this is a structured prompt for more more precise outputs and you actually like only have to pass in some references then it can generate a full detailed scene description of it you can always go in and make corrections or you can write out your full own prompt so here we can see that it takes subject and it takes the environment so modern gaming room. So this is from my reference image in the thumbnail. And then we can see here that we have the subject, a far skin man with light brown hair and a trim beard wearing a light gray short sleeve shirt. So this is basically just a detail of the references that we have. 3D rendering, middle. This is all the different things that you can specify, all the settings and parameters. We can make a 3D rendering, realistic animation, motion level. Do we want to have a lot of motion in the image or not? Then we can have the shot size, Focal length if you want to have more zoomed in or out shot. 
the camera angles, even camera movement can be specified here. So for example, we could delete some of it or have camera movements. Let's say that we want to do a zoom out effect. Then you just add it like this and it's going to add it to the parameters in our prompt. You can also have some filming or special filming techniques here. We're pretty much good to go. You can get some tips and tricks here, optimize it, and then it's pretty much just going to generate the video for us. So all of these things here are now going optimized together, the references, the text prompts that we're throwing in, all the different parameters with our camera settings. Now it's good to go. We can hit create at the bottom and it will start the video creation. All the videos that you have created, you can see them over on the timeline here and you can see the huge difference in both the prompt but also the specific model that you're using. So make sure you're using the new video Q1 model up here. These models are only going in one direction and will become better and better. So make sure that you choose the nearest one up here at the top. So usually just take a few minutes. You have your videos available here. You can generate multiple videos at the same time. Very intuitive user interface here to play around with. You can specify the settings. So here we have full HD AI video generation. Pretty crazy. Like not a lot of models out there is able to reconstruct so high detail videos or generate so high detail videos in full HD. The movement amplitude, aspect ratio. So you can both generate like square, square aspect ratio. You can have like vertical for shorts if you want to generate some shorts or even just some B rolls. This is just a normal horizontal shots. The amount of videos, if you want to generate more videos so you have some examples to choose from, you can always also do that. Another very cool feature you can take a look at here when you're trying it out and if you don't have anything urgent to do your generation will be processed during off-peak serve hours it may take longer to generate but it will also be cheaper so it's basically just distributing out to where there's not so much load on the gpus for generating these videos so if it's nothing urgent you can just turn on off-peak here all these features it's so nice that you have all this at your hand there's not really more to it they have an api as well you can go up and check it out might cover that in one of the future videos where you can go and see how you can use it on an API level instead of inside the interface. But every single aspect that you can play around with inside the interface is just an API working under the hood. So for example, here we have the, the reference to video. We can see the model. You can specify the model directly in the request body. You can specify the images. So these are the reference images as we are dropping into the UI. We have the prompt duration aspect ratio, resolution, all these are the parameters that I went over inside the platform. So under the hood is just calling these APIs, but you can also do that yourself if you want to generate a video generation platform, or you maybe you want to do some schedule based or just build it into your own software AI solution. You can upscale it as well. You can use templates. All these things here are available directly on the API as well. If you go back, I think we have the results now. So you can see it's pretty, pretty fast generating it. If you guys have seen me smile, I can probably just try to smile here. <laughs> and you can see it, it acts like kind of gets that even though I'm just smiling, no motion in the image that we throw in with the references. And then we can see the dog here jumping up from the table. And you can see it even lands pretty nice. So the, even the physics engine behind this video generation is very, very accurate. You can see how the dog is landing. So this is actually like a pretty good demonstration of how the video generation works. You can go in and recreate it and all that. You can go in and make corrections for it. You can download it with or without watermarks. You can upscale it if you want to have even higher resolution. You can share it, publish it. And if you publish it, it will be available as the examples that are showed here in the start. So let's try to just go through another example. I'm just going to clear it here. There we go. We can even just say like cyberpunk here. So cyberpunk style animation environment that will act like just be cyberpunk style and anim animation. Just copy paste it. There we go. So we can pretty much just take whatever subject here. Let's just say a guy in swim shorts. Let's just go fully crazy let's see what it can come up with this is like total opposite and so i have an animation middle it already ex extracted that directly from here let's see if we want some other ones let's just take a wide angle shot let's try to see how that works 
camera movement let's just leave that let's try to see what it comes up with you can always expand the tips and then you can see what the best practices are let's optimize it we are in pro mode still might just have cancelled it there it's optimizing it and then we can recreate it after so maybe we go down and change it to vertical format let's generate two examples let's optimize it for that we change the settings and we need to re-optimize it before we can create it so now we have passed in and optimized our prompt so we just gave it a few keywords it's actually just going to optimize that prompt for the video generation as we can see here it's way more details and this is also where we get all the details from make sure that you go in and modify edit these prompts if you want something specifically you can type out everything yourself you can just give it keywords and give it more creativity and it will be able to do that as well so right now we need to give it some references and some images we can even go to the community here as well and see what things are available so let's try to see we have some cyberpunk maybe it will be good and we have the man in, in swim shorts so let's maybe try to see if we can get this man here in in swim shorts let's grab another reference should be some cyberpunk style let's try to see if we can let's maybe let's maybe try to take this db arena get that into cyberpunk format with this guy here in swim shorts it will be pretty crazy if it can if it can do that so we have these two references we can pass in more images up to seven references here image reference changed update prompt are optimized for best results so let's re-optimize it we're going to recreate it see the results here and that's pretty much it i can imagine so many different use cases in the real world for this like educational content personal videos that you want to create b roles could even be some small marketing stuff that you want to do maybe you have a product that you want to create a five second product with you around you can control all the camera controls you can have different environments so let's say that you have some interior design you can make fully reconstruction of the interior exterior pretty much only the mind is the limit here so i think we're good to go now let's create it and see how long it takes we also specify that we want to have two examples and you can always go over here and see all the previous examples that you have generated and then you can download them let's download here without watermark it will download to your computer pretty much instant and we have the video here so i really like this video here with the dog just jumping up the physics is just amazing it does re-modify the background here a bit here with the microphone it's a bit hanging in in the air but again we have this zoom out movement as well where it has to interpolate what's in the background but it sees this as a studio we have some lights coming in we even have the desk and we have some lighting stuff in the background too but even just the eye contact here with the dog and the, and, and the human it feels pretty natural and human like so let's just get back once this video is done generating so let's take a look at the results here that we got out let's try to do full screen mode here so we just have this guy here walking in swimsuit in this db arena but in cyberpunk style let's try to take a look at the other example they've generated there we go he's walking forward so we didn't specify any camera controls or anything here but again, we can see that this is even like very nice lighting here on the shoulders, even when he's moving with the shadows as well. It looks pretty awesome. If you just go back to the home page again, you can specify and use all these other different templates. Like you have tools, image the video, text the video. I definitely like the reference the video the most. And you can pretty much do everything in there. They have the templates available. So if you want to generate, like just have some boilerplate use some references here you can for example take a photo or a two-person photo as well and then you can generate these templates even audio like music generation and so on on top of it can also be done here we have a smash it photo in motion you can create that one let's just try to upload the thumbnail images but you can see here it's it's very easy to use you can go in and try it out just just upload it specify it here let's go in and create it it's going to upload it We'll queue it and now I should basically just get my photo into motion. So definitely go in, check it out. Everything will be down in the description, comments, all of that. Go in and check it out. It's very awesome. And if you have any use cases, any software systems where you can use AI generated videos, make sure to go in and check out the API as well. It's very good documentation. So this even looks like me sitting here and talking. Love you at the end is probably not the best but it still looks very awesome. And 
it even does the motion behind the text. So this is very, very cool details. It's so cool that it has the different layers with the background or like the foreground with the text and then it does the movements of my body behind it. So hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, take care.